Hey everyone, this is Dhruveen and I welcome you all to Microsoft Dataverse for Teams step-by-step -step series with Power Apps. You are watching the first part of this series and in this session, I'm going to give you a little bit introduction about Microsoft Dataverse for Teams. So let's get started. The first question arises in your mind that what is Microsoft Dataverse? Microsoft Dataverse is the new name for Dataflex, Project Octel or Common Data Service. Microsoft Dataverse is something which is generally available at this moment. Microsoft Dataverse for Team is a built-in low-code data platform for Microsoft Teams that empowers users to build custom apps, chatbots and flow in Teams by using Power Apps, Power Virtual Agent and Power Automate. So in short, I can say that Microsoft Dataverse for Teams is something where we can develop our Power Apps, Power Automate and Power Virtual Agent chatbots in Microsoft Teams without purchasing any additional licensing. Dataverse for Teams build on Microsoft Dataverse which provide relational database storage, rich data types enterprise grade governance and one click solution deployment to the teams app store. So in short, Microsoft Dataverse is something which is providing us a platform where we can build our power apps, power automate, power virtual agents within the teams without leaving the team context and everything is associated with existing team licenses and we do not need to purchase any additional licensing for that. Now, let me talk about what we are going to cover throughout this entire session series. We are going to build this type of power apps within the teams. Make sure that we here we are not embedding the power apps which is created in suit to the teams. We are going to build from scratch power apps here. We are going to use Dataverse as a data source. So we are going to build this type of relational database first and then we are going to build our power apps on top of the dataverse. So let me give you an overall idea about this app. So the, my app would be having two different roles, requester view and manager view. And this is the live application system. So whenever a user click on apply for a live, it will open one power apps form for them from here they can fill out different information and click on save from view my leaves they can check all the apply leaves by them and they can edit their leaves using this option once they apply once the employee apply for the leave the leave goes for the approval process and from here as a manager i came here and from here they can approve or reject the request and this is how this entire application is working. So I am going to explain you each individual process in detail that how you can add the power apps within the teams, how you can create the power apps from scratch, then how you can create the different tables, how you can apply relationship between the tables, different data types of the tables, what are the limitations and how that particular view will be looking like into admin center. Everything I am going to talk. So we will be checking how we can manage different roles in order to build this type of power apps in detail. So stay tuned throughout this entire series. Now the question arises in your mind that then what is the benefits of using Dataverse for Teams? So let me explain you that thing. Dataverse for Teams support to build low code and no code apps, flows and chatbots within the teams. We do not need to leave teams context in order to build power apps, power automate and power virtual agent chatbots within the teams. This includes in most of the existing team license, we even don't need to purchase any additional licenses. Also Dataverse for teams create a new environment to create flows, apps and chatbots. It also it provides additional capabilities without purchasing any extra licenses. At this moment, Dataverse for Teams provide a storage of 2 GB per team and it supports up to 1 million rows. This is really awesome. Dataverse for Teams support for up to 500 teams. So 
This is also amazing. That also, Dataverse for Teams support additional storage, rich data types with the enterprise capability and one-click solution deployment. It provides a new visual editor that makes it even easier to define and populate the table data. We will be checking more about this thing in detail to my upcoming series. Also, the thing about 2 GB per team storage and 1 million row concept and the licensing concept is also being discussed in the later part of this series. So, so make sure that you tune in up to last session of this series. Now, in my next session, we will be getting started with Microsoft Dataverse in Teams with the Power Apps. So stay tuned to my next session. If you have any question related to this topic, you can add your questions in the comment section. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay tuned with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. If you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel about all my new updates, click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this page. Fill the form and you will be receiving daily updates about all my new videos on your WhatsApp number. Also, I have launched one podcast channel where you can listen your favorite podcast related power platform. So make sure that you click on this link. It will be redirecting you to my podcast platform. Here you can listen your favorite power platform related podcast exclusively on different podcast platform like Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify and much more. So this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session.